Well, looks like we're back. Okay, you like that? You like, hey, just a six. What's up? What's up? I'm, I'm a small timer. We're getting there. <laughs> Might take me 10, 20, forever. But anyway, let's dive into today's video. I am doing a video about maybe five car mods under $300. Now, for some people, it's like, wow, it's still, it's still quite a bit. Well, look at today's world we live in. So $300 under that mark. I'll do the best I can at describing what parts you can get that I think will help you. I'm not talking about visual, you know, I'm not talking about like looks and wheels. I mean, I don't think you can get wheels under 300. Anyway, yeah, we're not doing the looks and stuff. I'm not that kind of guy. When I talk about mods, I'm talking about stuff that will help your car out performance wise, um, handling, whatnot. We're going to dip into this stuff. So hopefully you guys stick along, tag along. Don't skip the video, all right? I see you guys watch it, but don't even subscribe. And we're getting close. Speaking of that, we're getting close to 2,000. And remember that, 2,000 subscribers are giving away more detailing kits for your car. And these are kits that actually work. Probably better than your local Walmart's kits. No, that's, that's not a lie. So, subscribe. Who knows, you might be a winner. You know, I like them subscribers. All right, let's just, let's just get into it. All right, thanks. <laughs> Out to the gurge. What shall we talk about, huh? Number one, let's talk about your rear. Now, I know you guys can't see my rear from here. I'm actually pretty low, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see all that. Anyway, gears. Those are also under $300. And I would say maybe some nice 410s. Um, 373s are very convenient. So, Gears are a big, big plus for this car. It's gonna wake up the car's rear end a little bit. Uh, 410s, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, it's not gonna be very highway friendly. Um, you'll be up in the high RPMs. 373s, those are probably gonna be your best bet. You're gonna love them. But yes, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i throw some photos up in here as well to show you guys, you know, I, I would maybe recommend Motive. Keep in mind when I'm doing this video, guys, there's gonna be brands or you know, gears that might be even better, or products that I mentioned, there might be one level higher, and they're gonna be costing you over $300. If you wanna shoot for that, you can. That's not a big deal. Like I said, I'm gonna try and do this the best I can for under $300. Um, stuff that I think you should buy, or that matters. And gears are one of them. So 370, uh, yeah, 373s, which I have right now, or 410s, which I used to have, but like I said, the gas isn't the greatest. I mean, either wet route you'll go. Um, but yeah, even running on the, on the highway with 410s, um, you're shooting up in the high RPMs and stuff and you're rolling around. But they are killer from a dig. When you're doing some dig runs, you know, dig races, 410s are your best friend. But um, I mean, like I said, there's other gears you guys can go for and so on. But yes, that's gonna be number one, all right? Under 300, all right, next. All right, guys. Next, I would say under the hood. So you can go for like a GLT or a GLT, pull their intake. Um, air Raid, you're probably gonna be spending a little bit more than the 300 mark for the Air Raid. But there are some intakes out there. I'm gonna shoot them up here, you know, so you guys can check those out. Um, but yeah, but keep in mind with this, the, the intakes, I mean, like I said, you can, you can find them under I'm not a fan of like, say, SR. I'm not trashing the brand. I'm just not the guy that goes out and buys SR. But um, that's another brand that's pretty, you know, cheap and affordable for some. But um, these colder intakes that I'm mentioning, granted they might be under 300, they may require a tune. So keep that in mind, there may be a tune required. Now some of you guys might, you know, have this stuff all thrown on and maybe you're having other things added on and then you're gonna go to a dyno and have a dyno tune. But I know some of you guys probably aren't running that route. So if you're going to buy one of these intakes, just keep in mind that um, you're probably gonna need a tune. And they got tuner programmers out there that are gonna cost you maybe you know well over 300, like 400. But your best bet, dyno tune. If 
you really, really want a good tune, or like people like Lido, uh, people call him the three valve god, basically a tuning. You have Bren Speed, another great one. Um, there, just, there's a lot out there that you can go to. Um, a lot of people like to trash Bama. I'm not the guy's gonna sit here on this video and trash Bama. So that's just, that's not who I am really as a person. I try to keep everything positive. I have had Pam, Bama in the past, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't have issues with Bama, okay? Not me. Others probably have, I mean, I don't know. Depends what they did to the car, yes, or more, who knows. Anyway, we're getting out of hand here. So yes, JLT, you got, you know, different colder intakes. Um, yeah, like I said, you're probably gonna need a tune, which will then shoot you over $300. Next, guys. Now, number three, all right, number three. We're gonna be dipping into suspension. Now, I would say springs, like lowering springs, talking coils, I mean, you're probably gonna be shooting over the 300 mark. Bags, you're obviously shooting over the 300 mark. All that stuff's gonna be over 300. So remember, we're keeping this under 300 the best we can. Now, BMR, RTR, I think it's Vaughland, or Vaughland, I'm probably butchering the name. Um, I have BMR, so I have BMR lowering, or performance lowering springs front and back. I used to have the drag. I have the lowering now because it's basically like a track car now, all the way around. Um, the back sits up just a smudge higher. But as you guys can see, I got big hands. I can still fit about there. I could probably shove in here, yeah. And then the front here, you can see I, I got a curl to get up in there. But yes, I have BMR lowering springs. They work great. I love them. Um, there's RTRs out there, I believe, that you can afford. I'm, like I said, I'm going to post these pictures up here. Let you guys see, just to show you guys that, you know, these are under 300. Maybe, maybe you might have to spend a little over. But what I am running on this car are the BMRs. And speaking of suspension, since we're running that route, and you're lowering this car, you might want to get a Panhar bar. And what I have is a BMR adjustable Panhar bar in the back of mine. So... Back of here, once you lower it, best bets, Panhar bar. I have the adjustable Panhar bar. I'll leave that photo up as well, so you guys can get an idea of what routes you guys want to take. But I, I mean, I would recommend, if you guys do decide to lower your shit, throw a Panhar bar on there as well, which would be back here. Not up there, back here. And um, yeah, so those are all, should be affordable, under $300. I'm gonna try and show you guys some photos. Photos I'm capturing from American Muscle. Um, not saying you guys should just shop there. I'm just trying to, you know, throw out ideas out there for you guys so you can understand that there are stuff out there under $300. I and mean, you can go on eBay and other places too to find some good prices on certain things. There are other suspensions I have not mentioned in here that you can find on other you know, websites and whatnot that may be under $300. So keep that in mind. Like I said, there could be always things better or better brands, some of which or some of which you're gonna probably end up spending more. So suspension, I have the BMR, BMR adjustable pan hard bar. All right, so those are a couple things right there. Um, should be under $300. All right. All right, well, I think we're on number four. Anyway, the rear again, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that rear again. So beautiful back there, right? So nice. Um, since we talked about the Panhard bar, let's move on to the next, you know, suspension type of component for handling. And that would be your upper and lower control arms. Now, sometimes you can get a package on these where it could be a good deal. I know BMR sells some good packages in other brands. You know, I just <laughs> tend to stick with BMR. They have never done me wrong and it works pretty good. So I'm gonna throw up some packages up here. Like I said, hopefully I got something down for you guys where I can show you guys that there are some packages out there that you can buy that might be close to the 300 mark or under. Um, some things you might spend over more depending on what route you wanna take. Like say if you want an adjustable upper control arm, you might spend close to 300 mark. I mean, it's gonna be under 300, but then you have to probably wait till another check. We'll just say that for example. Wait for your next check to spend another 300 for your lower control arms, if you want like adjustable lower, you know, you get the point. I'm gonna throw those up there so you guys can get the idea um, on upper and lower control arms. Like I said, you can buy some of this set for a good decent price, or you might have to spend, you know, under 300 for one part and then later come back for the other. <laughs> I'm just trying to break it down in 300s, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. But yes, there might be an item that costs a little bit more than other items because it might be adjustable or it might be a little better brand or it might be whatever. You get the point. On to the next one though. Yeah, we're getting there. The next one, I mean, you guys can say what you want really. And like I said, if you guys think of other, you know, mods, like little mods under 300 that you think are, could help you up performance wise or whatnot, 
just shoot them in the comments down below. Maybe I missed a couple that, you know, I'm just trying to shoot some stuff out there for you guys that I think would help you guys out. Five, that shifter right there, which we are going to dabble into it and it is on the way. We had some issues before, <laughs> but we were finally gonna do it. So what I'm changing to is an MGW shifter. Now, I'm telling you guys, if you guys want precise shifts, I mean, something that's really, really good, maybe top of the line, MGW will not do you wrong. Now, I know people have Hurst and whatnot. Now, that's a Hurst setup. Um, I still have issues with second gear. And I'm not saying that, hey, maybe shift my, you know, changing my shifter, I was going to solve all that. There could be some other problems, but I know that it's my shifter. So, me doing and switching over to MGW is going to be a big deal for me. I'm going to love it. And I know you guys will, too. I've actually been in a car with MGW, and it was amazing. So... I will be doing a video on the MGW shifter install, so if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, you know, subscribe, you can watch how that's done. And uh, yeah, should be fun. A little, little review. But that's that's one of the things I love, is maybe switching shifters. Some people write, uh, run uh, Barton. Um, not a bad shifter as well. And I'm not trashing Hurst. There's some good setups. So, but me, I'm running MGW. That's the route I'm taking. And it's just, it's just, oh look, this car is so beautiful. Anyway, shifter. I mean, I think you guys may agree, MGW is a damn good brand and a right way to go. So, that's, for me, that would be number five. And you know me, I can't just stop at number five. So I'm going to throw a couple other little things in there, under $300, that might help you guys out. Stay tuned. You guys sick of me yet? Hmm? You guys see the car? You guys probably see enough of that damn thing. Um, I'm going to go on to a little bit of number six and seven. Maybe we'll just throw seven all together. I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna throw them back to back, all right? Let's just, you know, shoot through this stuff. I don't wanna talk your ear off. An oil separator, all right, hear me out. It's good for the car. It's gonna help you in the long run. And you know, it's just for the you know, oil in the intake bullshit, you know, stuff like that. It's just an all around pretty good. You know, I'm not gonna sit there and say, oh, it's gonna give you horsepower. It's just gonna help your car out, all right? Oil separator, I'm gonna put it up here. It's under $300, I recommend you get it. If you wanna do both sides, great, but I just recommend that you get an oil separator. Now, I mean, I don't think anybody's really gonna fight me on that. Trust me, just for once in your life, trust me, all right? And number seven-ish, if you wanna throw it in there. I mean, some people like to do muffler deletes and whatnot, um, maybe adding like an axle back or something. I can't sit there and say you can do your whole exhaust for $300 unless it's custom made and I don't think anybody really wants to do that. Unless you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, hey, by all means. But an axle back or muffler delete, if you could find something cheap um, along those lines, like I know Pipes sometimes has some decently, or actually nice sounding products that are fairly cheap. Now I'm not sitting there saying they're probably at the 300 mark. I'm not gonna look. But I'm pretty sure they're close, if not under. And uh, just talking axle back, uh, delete your muffler if you guys want to be a little loud and rowdy hey that's a good way i guess for under 300 yeah for what i have is well if you guys haven't watched my recent videos i have pipes long tube headers and a pipes catted h pipe which basically blew out the cats lovely and then i have a flowmaster outlaw cat bag out the back so she's pretty loud pretty gnarly and i'm cammed as well hot rod cams so i can't sit there and tell you say hey get hot rod cams that's um Definitely not $300. I don't think you can buy them used $300. <laughs> Hopefully you guys liked the video though. If you have not yet, subscribe. And uh, we do have more stuff, more content of the car coming. I do have carbon fiber fenders on the way. So that is something I'm going to be doing. They're on back order, which sucks. I thought I had them in time. But apparently we just, you know, ran out. But yes, stay tuned. We do have carbon fiber fenders on the way. We do have the MGW shifter on the way. And we do have... Brian Jensen coming with his coyote. If you don't know his Instagram, it's Coyote Jensen. I'll put it down here. So go check him out because he's doing a whole Dyna Performance carbon fiber interior. And we're also gonna do his new bumper. I think it's a new or I think it's a clint or clips or something on his front bumper. I gotta replace those and I'm doing the headlights on his car. He's got some new headlights he wants to put in. So stay tuned for that. It's a coyote little video. So if you guys got coyotes out there, let them know I'm doing a little bit of something, okay? Alright. Anyway, take care. Love y'all. And thanks to those who support me. Later.